Hello, I'm Frances Atkins and I'm Chef Proprietor at the York Arms in Ramsgill and I've been very fortunate to have um, an essay in my kitchen and I'm really here to tell you today why I think it's such a fabulous piece of kit. It's the summer at the moment so we've got some lovely fresh almonds and uh, I thought well we'll make an almond cake and put the strawberries on top of it and uh, it's the quickest thing and the easiest thing to do and it keeps again so this is a good recipe uh, for something that you could actually make another day and bring out and use. Yes. I'm in a hurry. <laughs> so I whisk my egg white till I have soft peak with half the amount of sugar. I then put the other rest of the sugar in with my egg yolk and I'm now about to mix it all together. Okay? So just give that a So you can see that's a nice pop egg yolk in. It can be gluten free, so it's a great recipe for so many people these days um, can't have gluten and it's also fat free. So although the sugar content's quite high, that's its preservative and will keep it and a small amount, it's fine, it's much more healthy for you. So I've got, the thing I have to achieve when I'm making this is volume. So I've got plenty of volume there as you can see. So then I'm going to pop in my flour, sieve flour and baking powder. That is just, um, gluten free flour or ordinary flour it doesn't matter it's literally a teaspoonful just to hold the egg ground almonds now these almonds um, are fresh and have been ground or you can purchase just going to add a slight teaspoonful of brandy in here and some fresh almond essence. I've just quickly lined and I'm just going to pour mixture in and you can see this is quite a big recipe we, you could, you can half this. It's um, you don't have to do so much at all. Let's move it out. There we are. I'm going to cook some sea bass today with a crumb. And just to make the crumb a little bit crispy, I'm just going to toast it on top of my top, which is like so. And although that takes time, it makes a really, really nice crispy piece of toast. And it's really, really different. I'm just going to pop this in the blender. Crumb. Yeah, so I'm just literally put some herbs in there with my with with my crumb. Don't use that. Couldn't help picking that. It's so pretty. Um, right, and then just pulse.
Um, I'm going to put the fish in the pan and sear it on the skin side. And then we're going to put it through the oven to finish cooking in the main oven. And then we're going to put a crust on and just grill that crust. Yeah, look, I've got, look at this, just out of interest. Look, that's great. That's really brilliant. I'm teased, maybe you like to just show this. I'm waiting for the heat to come here, but here I've got instant heat. I think that's... It is. Yeah. yeah. This look... So, make a plus out of this. I've been waiting for my heat. It's still not come. I've got this straight away. Yeah. Wonderful. And I'm just seasoning my fish now. This is some sea bass and I'm just cooking this skin side down. Because I'm impatient and I can't be bothered to wait. So I'm going to keep all my things um, warming, ticking over and work from the induction. I've put the crust on as I've made with the toast. And I have just put the herbs through with crumb and now I'm just putting some shrimps in here, a few shrimps and a few mushrooms in the same pan and these ingredients are just taking up the juices from the fish and then I should pop my sauce when this is grilled I should put the sauce in there, a little white wine, little cream and then serve it So that's going in there now. While that's just under the grill, just have a look at our almond cake. Just looking spectacular. I'm smelling. Mm. Um, I've just put them on the induction now and they're just just cooking just in a little little bit of um, um, salt and a little bit of oil. Just sitting in it so it's nice and moist. And my husband likes lots of sauce and I'm actually getting turned off and not putting the pop that on like that. Okay. These are all from the garden, as you can see. Which are great. And the versatility of this essay has made this. I've just got the vegetables cooked to the right point. I can take it off and I can serve it up really, really easily. Again, it's been made, these were our, our own chillies and we've just literally ground it, ground it down with a bit of tomato to add a bit of colour and a bit of heat and that's your 
dish. Okay, so this is cooked nicely. And turn it out. Just let that cool a bit and then we'll put some strawberries and some cream with it and some fresh almonds. Tidy it up because that's the nature of it. It's a nice sort of rustic looking job. Um, and there's no problem about this little bottom oven. I haven't turned it, I haven't messed about with it. I've just put it back, put it in the oven and uh, it's cooked. So I think if we just cut, cut a bit um, and then put the cream on and you can see the consistency of this. It's lovely, this is really, really nice served. Um, slightly, slightly warm anyway. Um, but obviously you've got to be careful of your cream. If, if you can let it cool or you can just use it the following, the next day. These um, strawberries too um, can be uh, just roughly chops or just put um, almonds. I, these are fresh almonds. I'm not toasting them. The almondy taste is so good that um, you don't need to, but you could if you wanted to. So I'm demonstrating here the the consistency of this sponge and the fact that I've just served it with some strawberries